Okay, hopefully that fixed the lighting, even if the background is a bit drab now. Let's present Gauss-Jordan elimination. Just like Gaussian elimination puts a matrix into row echelon form, Gauss-Jordan elimination puts a matrix into reduced row echelon form. We'll present this via example, just like we did Gaussian elimination. And speaking of which, our first step is going to be Gaussian elimination. I'll do that off camera for time reasons. And also because we've done this example previously, it's fr this is from, from here to here, is in one of my sets of notes. The next step is going to be to make our leading entries one. So we find our leading entries, the first non-zero entry of our row, and we're going to perform row operations. And these row operations are maybe simple enough that we can perform a few one after another without writing them all down individually. We are going to take each of these rows and we are going to divide each of these rows by its leading entry. You ordinarily want to be cautious about doing multiple row operations kind of at once, but I figure these are all pretty straight forward. And what we're going to do now is the Gaussian elimination process once again, except this time, instead of starting with our upper left leading entry, we'll start with our lower right leading entry tree. And instead of making everything below something zero, we'll make everything above this leading entry zero. So we need a negative three halves to add to this to get zero. We'll multiply our third row by negative three halves. Let me correct that. And we'll add this to the second row. And we'll get our new second row from that. And now to get rid of a positive one fourth, we need a negative one fourth. To turn one into negative one fourth, we multiply it by negative one fourth. So we'll take the third row, multiply it by negative one fourth. 
and we'll add that to the first row and get our new first row. Copy that down. And now we're done with this leading entry. Everything above it is zero. Instead of moving down and to the right, as we do with the Gaussian elimination, we move up and to the left to find our next leading entry, and we'll make everything above it be zero. To do that, we'll multiply this second row by negative one half and add it to the first row to get a new first row. We'll copy that down. However, let's not copy the error I made. We have a one here, one plus zero is one. And now we would keep going up and to the left, but this entry, this leading entry doesn't have anything above it to turn to zero. We are done and this matrix is in reduced row echelon form. Notice that reduced row echelon form breaks into kind of two parts, or what I meant to say is that Gauss-Jordan elimination breaks into two parts. First, we put the matrix into row echelon form. Then we put the matrix into reduced row echelon form. Going from here to here, performing the Gaussian elimination is called the forward phase of this process. Going from here to here is called the backward phase.